Hey everybody, Jason C. here with the star of the new CW hit show called Valentine, Christopher Palaha. Good morning, right, man. Good, how are you? Good, good. Good morning to you. Good. How's the show? So Greek gods have descended onto Hollywood Hills. Yeah, Greek gods, they're alive and they're well. They're living on Mount Olympus in mm -hmm. Hollywood. And uh, it's an amazing show. We're having a blast. It's, it's a, a funny premise. Yeah, I mean, I like it's a really, it. it's, it's one of those premises that like in a pitch meeting, it'd be like uh -huh. Greek gods, they're making matches, they're incognito. And you in either, Hollywood. Yeah, in Hollywood. <laughs> and you either love it or you're like, hmm. Right. And, and we, we have Kevin Murphy writing it, who is I mean, really brilliant writer. He's uh -huh, making uh -huh. it just, it's fun, it's charming, there's a lot of heart to it. So, uh -huh. And I play Eros, the uh -huh, god of right. erotic yeah, love. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Danny Valentine or Eros. So like, you can go into a bar and you can say, you know, um, I'm not a Greek god, but I play one on TV, right? I could. Yeah. <laughs> do you do that? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. My wife, I'm married. So oh. I, and, 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 and instead of, hey, you, would sorry, think that, you would think that it helps things, but instead she's got to endure me now. She suffers uh -huh. me in my Greek godness. So, right, right. You know. You read the role and you're like, can I do this? Or what was your reaction? <laughs> no, it's, it's actually, I mean, I hesitate to say it's family friendly because, uh, you know, there's obviously, the, you know, it's, it's for like 13 year olds and up. It's pretty family friendly, you uh -huh. know what I mean? Um, so it's a pretty tame take on, on love and romance. It's, you know, it's a, it's a sh Sunday night show on the CW. So. Right. But um, the character, the guy that I play, Danny Valentine, he's like, so I, 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 I ripped off a buddy of mine, Chris Backus, for the uh -huh. look. So uh -huh. I have him draped in jewelry. Okay. okay. And then uh, I've decided to base the character on Puck okay. from Shakespeare's Midsummer Night's Dream uh -huh. and Mick Jagger. Uh -huh. So I've got this <laughs> okay. very crazy little guy who just is like a bumblebee, and he, you know. And instead of a uh, bow and arrow, uh -huh. I've now I use a gun. I heard that. Yeah, so I can shoot you, and you will fall in love with the next person that you see. In fact, mommy uh, Aphrodite yeah, keeps yes. taking it away from she me. She keeps stealing take... my gun. And then what you gonna do? Yeah, I steal it back. Well, I was wondering if maybe we could uh, uh, bless this one and go hunting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Right? <laughs> what are we even? Okay. All right. So that's, now, that's all it takes, by the way. You're when married, you're, dude, when so, you're yeah. Cupid, right? So I think what we need to do is we, we yeah, you spot somebody. <laughs> We're gonna go over there and. But hey. water may not be the best way to make a girl <laughs> fall in love with you. It might be the best way to upset this her. This is Eros water. Yeah, Eros water. <laughs> give me, give me, I don't know. Uh, Ten line, not ten lines, but three line description of, of Danny Valentine. Yeah, you're Besides like, make, Puck it, and, and make it brief. Uh, he is. I'll <laughs> tell you. I'll tell you. In Greek mythology, Eros was likened to a bumblebee, because he would flit around, causing trouble, and people were afraid of him. Because even Zeus, uh -huh. if he got struck by his arrow, by Eros's arrow, he would fall in love with right. the next thing he saw. So right. everybody sort of had this. I guess fear or respect for Eros. Uh -huh, so uh -huh. kind of like that's my character in a nutshell. And right, he's so right. bored with. You know, the day-to-day -day stuff that he sort of decides to have fun with things in a way that he can. It's just more, you know, right. he just makes things interesting for himself. His love isn't like the everlasting love, romance story love. It's more... It's lust. Yeah, there you, you, you go. You put a word, yeah. You said it. Yeah, he's a little, he creates uh -huh. lust. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. So this is going to be the lust gun. So that's your lust gun, yeah. Lust gun. Yeah. You yeah. Use me. it wisely. I will use it wisely. Don't and use it, you know, after a night of craziness <laughs> use it sparingly okay. and I am not the the god of discretion I am the god of you know erotic love right. so use it when you want I guess right, right <laughs> at right. the end of the I day mean. use it whenever there's three right there go for it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, it, uh, what happens you love with them yet <laughs> see it works. there you go <laughs>